God bless you. I am Prophet Willie Townsend, of the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup, for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me, send me your testimony, send me your prayer request letter, write me Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. If you want today's lesson by DVD, VHS, or cassette, or CD, get the tape number or the tape message that's appearing on your screen. Call the church. Give us the tape number or the message, and we'll rush the tape out to you as soon as possible. We do encourage you to check our website. All of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes, you can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, our Sunday telecast, you can get it live also by going to our website every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. Our website is a worldwide website, which means you can get us any part of the world or the U.S. 24 hours a day. Also, starting July the 3rd, we'll be televising every Wednesday. Amen. They're starting Wednesday, July the 3rd, Thursday and Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. Amen on ION channel 38. All right, now back into the word of God. We have a part two. Amen. Uh, in the book of Galatians, um, the fifth chapter and the 17th verse for the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit lusted against the flesh uh -huh. and these are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would you got your answer. This is why when you go to do good, Eve is always present. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. Our lesson this morning will be on the flesh and the spirit part two. The flesh and the spirit part two. Amen. Now, I understand you love you. I don't care how much you love you. Amen. Your flesh is after you. Amen. Your flesh is after you because the devil will work through your flesh with desires. Amen. To try to bind you in the spirit. This is why the Bible said, be sober. Be diligent because your adversary, the devil, as a raw lion seeking in whom he may devour. Let me explain something to you, honey. The devil is your flesh. The devil is in your flesh. If the devil is not in your flesh, why are you picking up these evil desires that's against the word of God? You see what I'm talking about? Straight it out, bro. If the devil is not in your flesh, brother, why is it you want to have sex and you're not even married? If the devil is not in your flesh. Why is it you get angry at certain folks and want to cuss them out? You see what I'm talking about? If the devil is not in your flesh, 
Why are you thinking about playing the lottery and catching it rich? What's wrong in playing the lottery, catching it rich? It's not nothing wrong in getting rich. It's something wrong in playing the lottery because the Bible said the just must live by faith. You see what I'm talking about? And whatsoever not of faith is sin. That's what the word said. I have to bring it to you straight, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. I understand the devil works where there's evil in. Evilness is in the flesh. This is why Paul said, in me dwell in no good thing. Huh? Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. It's the devil that's working through our sinful nature to bind us. Satan worked through the sinful nature of man to keep them in sin. Let me explain something to you, honey. Sure, the devil is in my flesh, but he's not in my life. Break it down. The devil is in my flesh, but he's not in my spirit. God is in my spirit, and the devil is in my flesh. That's why we have this warfare. This is why we have this warfare with that me of good and evil, baby. Either one trying to pull me under his, God already got me under his power. The devil trying to pull me from God's power yeah. and pull me under his power. Yeah. This is why Paul said I would not be brought under the power of any. Hey, that's what he said. You see that? Yeah. This is why I'm, that after you get saved, yeah. baby, you got to fight you. Never man fighting other folks. You better fight you, baby. You going around saying who don't like you, your own flesh don't like you. You see what I'm talking about? You going around talking about who got something against you in the church, that lust in your flesh got something against you. You see what I'm talking about? You got to look at yourself, baby. Talking about, amen, it ain't no love in the church. Ain't no love in your flesh. You think your flesh love you? If your flesh love you, why are you trying to get you to sin against God? If your flesh love you, baby, why are your flesh trying to get you to fall, baby? Do you see what I'm talking about? And why are you worrying about other folks, baby? Who got something against you? Who don't love you? Who, who been talking about you? Baby, your flesh been talking about you. You ain't looked at that. <laughs> Prophet, how can my flesh talk about me? Baby, the devil don't use your flesh to talk about how he going to make you fall. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? The devil is, is, is using your flesh to talk about you, baby. They see how he's going to make you sin against God. This is why when you get saved, baby, you don't worry about other folks. You better watch you, baby. Because holy there, baby, you're not bound because of people. You're bound because of your own flesh. Do you see what I'm talking about? This is why you doesn't have time to fight other people. Other people is not trying to bind you. It's your own flesh that's trying to bind you. 
Amen. Now I'm going to tell you this, baby. You better fight the one that's trying to bind you. You see what I'm talking about? And that's your flush, baby. Amen, brother. Amen. Look, once you become saved, you must realize you are in a warfare between you and you. you once you become saved, you are in a warfare between the flush and your flush and the spirit of God that's in you. Do you see what I'm talking about? Each one is trying to get you to yield to him. God trying to get you to yield to his word and the devil using your flesh to get you to yield to him. Now the Bible said whosoever you yield yourself to, that's who you become a servant of. That's why I'm telling you, baby, yield to God, baby. That's why I'm telling you, baby, submit yourself a pattern of the righteousness of God. Do you see what I'm talking about? I understand. Once we become saved, it's a warfare. I prepared myself for the warfare. Israel had to fight to get to Canaan. I got to fight to get to heaven, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Israel had to fight, baby. The early church had to fight, baby. Christ had to fight to the cross. And if Christ suffered, arm yourself likewise. You see what I'm talking about? I understand it's a warfare. You see what I'm talking about? But the warfare is not with you. The warfare is within me. You see what I'm talking about? The devil not using you to try to get me. That devil trying to use my own flesh to get me. That devil trying to use my own desires to get me. That devil trying to use my own mind to get me. You see what I'm talking about? And listen, baby. You does not want to lose this warfare. I understand you in the warfare. But you don't want to lose it. Because if you lose this warfare, you lose your soul. Know ye not that ye are in a race. And only one going to win the prize. So run that ye may obtain the prize. You see what I'm talking about? Let me explain something to you, honey. Warfare is for you to fight. We fight these spiritual warfares with the spirit of God that's in us. This is why God gave us the Holy Ghost to fight these warfares. Then the Bible said, Behold, I gave you power over all the power of the enemy. You see what I'm talking about. Let's go to First Corinthians 9:26. All right, come on, honey. First Corinthians 9 and 26. Uh-huh. I want you to read that for me, honey. First Corinthians 9, 26. Mm -hmm. I therefore shall run, not as uncertainty. Hold it, baby. This is what you don't want. You don't want to run uncertainly. No, no. In other words, you don't want to run for 15 to 20 years and lose the battle. Not at all, man. No. You see what I'm talking about? You doesn't want to run, labor, travail, suffer for the kingdom of God for 10, 20, and 30 years in vain. Not at all. Not at all. Paul said, I'll run, but not uncertainly. Baby, I'm running knowing I'm going to win. You got to fight like you know you're going to win. You got to run this race like you know you're going to win. That's what I'm doing to my teacher. I'm not worried about my flush because I know I could win my flush. You see what I'm talking about? I'm not worried about my man. I know I could win my man. You see what I'm talking about? This ain't my first battle with my man. This not my first battle with my flesh. Amen. I done been in the ring with both of them many a time. And won them, baby. That's what I'm saying, baby. It ain't the first time. I'm not no new convert. I've been saved for almost 40 years. I 
might have been in the ring with my flesh many a time. You see what I'm talking about? All my flesh did was gave me a black eye. All my flesh did was knock a couple of my teeth out. But baby, I pinned him to the floor. Come, you ain't gonna get up. That means I won, baby. Now my flesh will try to come back as a rematch. That's what your flesh is doing to you, baby. Your flesh is coming back to you for a rematch. Hold it, baby. You getting these desires in your flesh? You got them before. It's not the first time. Amen. It's it, it just showing you that your flesh is coming back for a rematch. Your flesh believe. Okay, the first time you won, you didn't yield. You didn't yield to my temptation. But he, but see, he done been in training now. Yeah, he done went to, hey, Look, when, when he lost that first match with you, he went in training. Now he come back for a rematch, fully trained it. And he believe he gonna win now. Hold it, baby. You gotta do the same thing you did the first time. Take the sword of the spirit. Keep fighting them, baby, which is the word of God. That's what I'm saying. I let the devil know. I let my flesh know. While you was in training, so have I. That's why I've been studying night and day. That's why I've been seeking the good face of God night and day, baby. That's why I've been coming out to Bible class because I've been in training myself. You see that? All right, read for me, honey. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight not I as one that beat it against the air. I don't want to run uncertainly. No. You don't want to run uncertainly. No. You want to run all these years and still go to hell. No, no. You run all of these years in vain, baby. And at the end, you give it over to your flesh. Not at all, teacher. Not at all. Yeah. 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 No. Not at all, teacher. This is why the devil is after you. Yes. The devil know you saved. Uh -huh. He know how long you've been saved. Go ahead. But the devil believe if you give up at the end, mm -hmm. all of your serving God is in vain. That's it, yeah. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. The devil knows that all your righteousness, God would not remember. It. All right, say it now. This is why he's going to fight you till the end. Yes, because he, 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 he wants you to give up at the end. Yeah, he does. He does. Wow. That's why he, he keeps coming back with these rematches. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? The devil feels as though you don't you don't went through a lot of things in this world. You don't went through marriage or problem. You don't went through finance problem. Amen. And now you don't gotta live weak. All right. Go ahead. Get you now. So he come back as a rematch. Figure you weaker now. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna tell the devil like I like like Paul said, as this outward man perish, this outward man renewed day by day, baby. That is so, my teacher. That is so. You see what I'm talking about? That's it. I let that devil know I've been renewed, baby. I ain't been sitting around not stepping the word of God. I ain't been sitting around not studying. I ain't been sitting around not coming to Bible class. Baby, I studied to show myself approved under God. A workman that, that, that needed not to be ashamed of, rightly dividing the word of God. I've been in training too, baby. I'm, I'm ready for the rematch. Bring it on. I let the devil know you don't need no sand contract. You don't need, you don't need no sand contract with me. Bring it on. You see what I'm talking about? I let the devil know the tough guy gonna stand, the wicked one gonna fall, the devil gonna fall, baby. You see what I'm talking about? You gotta have confidence in you, baby. You can't lay around act helpless, weak, crying. You better fight, baby. Read. I therefore 
as Sharon, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beat the air. Wait a minute, I'm not fighting this beat the air. No. I mean, I'm not fighting for nothing. No, baby, I'm fighting to get this devil out of my mind. Yes. I'm fighting, baby, get this devil away from my flesh, baby. I'm fighting this devil to win this Christian battle, baby. I'm fighting this devil to hold out till the end. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? I'm getting older, baby. I'm going to fight harder. You see what I'm talking about? Hey, man, I'm getting older, baby. Ain't got but a few more years left. You think I'm going to get this over to the devil? Baby, I'm going to fight till God say, well done. That good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you rule over many. I know you're right. I know you're right. My God. You see what I'm talking about? Uh, look, let me explain something to you, honey. All of you other than gave up in God, you, all, all of you other had given up in God. You've been fighting all the time you've been saved. All you've been doing was fighting against the air. You don't want that to go down in vain. You need to rise up this morning. Rededicate your life back to God. Submit yourself back upon the God's righteousness. Get back in the race. Fight your flush. Uh -huh. yeah. Fight the devil, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You can win it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Look, Paul won his. Hey. 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 Paul said, I fought a good fight. Yeah. Yeah. I finished my course. I kept the faith. Yeah. I'm winning mass. Yeah. Yeah. You winning yours, baby. Yeah. Other Christians is winning theirs. Yeah. Why do you have to be a loser? Read. But I keep under my body and bring it unto subjection. Hold it. I do what to my body? I keep under my body and bring it up to subjection. You got to bring your flesh subjection. upon the subjection of the Spirit of God and the Word of God. Right, here, Baby, your flesh want to break a loose. Your flesh want to get nasty. Your flesh want to get hoarse. Your flesh want to get low down and dirty and nasty. That's that Adam nature, baby. You got to bring it under subjection to holiness. Your flesh want to get evil and cuss people out. Hurt their feeling. Snap them up. You got to bring it under subjection. In other words, you got to control you. But in order to control you, you got to be free in the spirit. Because if you're not free in the spirit, the devil and your flesh going to control you. That's why the Bible said, walk in the spirit, you won't, be, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's what the word said, baby. You got to walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. How do you walk in the spirit? Walk in the word of God. And what you've been taught, live the word of God. Stand on the word of God. Quote the word of God. What did the Bible say? Man don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. That's what we live by, baby. And when you live by the word of God, baby, baby, you live in holy. Don't you know that? Yeah. I know you're right. Read. But I keep under my body and bring it unto subjection. I right, keep this body uh -huh. and bring it under subjection. Yes. Amen. Now, look when you was in the word. You know how wild your body was? All right. Take it easy, baby, your body broke loose free. Your body broke loose. You was going to bars. You were drinking up everything, laying up with some of everybody, cussing the way you want them. Baby, you got to bring all that on subjection now. Yeah. Hold it, baby. Let me explain something to y'all, baby. Them desires still there. That I know. But it's on the subjection, though. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. I'm telling my flesh, no, you won't. You ain't going nowhere. 
I let my flesh know you're not going to another woman. I let my flesh know you're not going to no boss. I let the flesh know you're not going to cursing. I keep that under subjection, baby. Through the powers of God and the word of God that's in me. Do you see what I'm talking about? Let me say this here, honey. You know there's a wild side in you. All right. There's a wild side in you. You all know I'm right. Go ahead, teacher. That wild side, that worldly side, that convexious side, that evil side, that lustful side, you got to keep it under subjection with the word of God. All right, God bless him. I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church where we are located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois where our Sunday morning services start at 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, morning services start amen at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call. And we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lines are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to check our website, all of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes. You can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday nights at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, our telecast every Sunday. You can get it live also by going to our website every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. Also, our website is a worldwide website. 24 hours a day. Also, as a reminder, don't forget our new telecast timing every Wednesday starting July the 3rd. That's July the 3rd every Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 9 a.m. on ION Channel 38. Until next week, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless you.